Hello, my name is Greg Kramer, Kramer's Antiques, Rob Zunia, PA, and I'm happy to be exhibiting at the Fall Rain Back Antique Show, hosted by Ruby Lane. Greg, it's great seeing you. How you doing, Greg? Great seeing you. <laughs> I'm so happy you're you're here and and that you're doing the show and that you brought some amazing things. We're excited. I think you you know you and I know that how much we love. Let's say let's say I admire a guy who's got the taste and the knowledge for the good stuff and that's you. I mean you 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 really have a great eye. And the more unique the better. Yeah, that's really true. I mean you're you're a guy who's passionate and the passion comes through, you know, when you're looking at the things, right? Loving the stuff. Yeah, I'm loving the stuff. So what's, the what, stuff. what about this? What you you tell me. I've never seen one that large. <laughs> so what we make reference to them being uh, witches balls. Yep. Uh, it's a Victorian area uh, period type of thing. Right. And this one is rather unusual due to size. It is really big, blown. Uh, and blown glass, like two part. Um, the remarkable, unique thing about this one, I have never seen baseball players. That. We've seen a lot of the paper cutouts and you know various floral and right. this one has interesting you know people families. Yeah, all this uh, all the, the flowers right? and the, the kitty cats and all that. All of a sudden, a cats are special, player. but that that's totally unique. Totally yes. unique. Is that cut from a card? Uh, a baseball card. They're paper silhouettes. I I don't know that they. I, some of these you actually could buy sheets of right then others you know probably were printed things they found on their own right they're um, very cool when in the case of this this is probably almost a professional glass house that w could have made this one you right. know say so probably had printed up uh okay. paper cutouts for this where'd you find it what uh in pennsylvania or did you it find comes it? out of jersey uh -huh. uh, i had actually bought from a collection yeah you know from another dealer yep it's very, it's, it's so cool, and this is weighted. I feel something inside. What do you think? What do you think's in there? Not a lot. It's just, it's, it's just coated. It appears to be oh. sand, but it's just coated. It's heavy enough. The base is large enough to support the piece. To support the piece. They made it um, like that. That's yeah, something. yeah. This one's not weighted. That's that. Uh, yeah, more that, cats. No, that's really more cats. Right. I think that's really cool. Really cool. Glad you brought it. I mean, the biggest one, right? The that's biggest, the biggest one, one we've owned. Wow. And you've been. Yep. You, yep. Dealing in these for <laughs> well, early American glass, yeah. you know, for a lot of years. Right, yeah, that's very cool. And we're here, here we have a rather unique paint decorated lock box, trinket box. Oh, nice! Uh, dome top chest. Uh, yeah. Various uh, scenes of people, act, outdoor activities, rural back background. Um, nice crackled paint surface to the paint, crackled paint. Front's extremely interesting. It, uh, it reminds you of a Hudson River seam, which basically it's going to probably be a New England box. Yep. Um, yep. White pine. Right? Var various sail ships, house. Um, uh, I see. Yeah, he, with an American flag on it, right? An American yes, flag. Yes. 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 And uh, yes, let's see yes. the end. Look at that little scene with Dad Dunn <laughs> paint. That's really quite a dome top box. That's a rather unique decoration. Plain background. Nice and original. It's the other way. Ah, house on the hill. House on one side, the barn on the other. Right. <laughs> wow. Now that front's untouched condition. Yeah, that front's lovely. Original paint. Really nice. Very, uh, very clean. This is probably about 1840 to 60 or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second quarter of the 19th century. Yep. Basically, yep. the hardware is falling in that gender. Yep. Yep. Um, Iron hardware. You keep your valuables in there. Someone popped it off at some point to get inside to the, you know. Yeah. And, and but the original, um, I think you got the original hasp inside, right yeah. there. Yeah, and then we have a, a that, condition report in there uh, on the piece. I wouldn't think you had much condition to talk going. about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got uh, yeah, New England, probably Hudson River Valley. That's uh, that area. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got it right. Your second quarter, nineteenth century. Right? Yep. yep. Now this is special. This is special. I mean, how it's often do you... one of two by this hand I know of. This is a, the better of the two. Um, but I bought the first one off of Lou Scranton years ago. Really? Uh, 
Now this has a, lot, has a lot more people and a lot more activity. Right. The other one had much the same scenery, same idea. That's very uh, cool. Here's the, I'm going to just show that this hasp is right there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it just the original hasp. That can easily be uh, just reattached, but it's just nice to have it with it. You know? Yeah, we didn't get that far yet. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> So, this is really nice. Wow. <laughs> we love our folk oh, art. a guy riding a chicken? Yep. A rooster. <laughs> Original paint. Jay Cummings would have been the owner of the piece. Uh, would have an, probably had an instrument inside, a, you know, banjo, guitar, or whatever. I have never uh, seen a guy riding a chicken. Major folk art. <laughs> <laughs> Whimsical as it can be. <laughs> that is great. <clears throat> I love that. I love that. You think, how did he come up with that when he's painting, he's painting the side I, of it? And I, I, I'm, I wish I had an explanation. I'm not <laughs> sure how he came, came up with that. He let's, let's, look at, let's look inside. He certainly had a sense of humor. Yeah, he had a sense of humor, right? Look at that. Nice and uh, uh, lined with fabric to protect the instrument, yeah. the violin, I, I guess. That's actually part of the original lining on that. Yeah. Probably is, right? Yeah. Because it'd be a uh, second half 19th century, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Untouched. Uh, probably fine. Little, Untouched. Little, little hinge damage or something. Yep. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. Let's look, at the, let's look at the top. <laughs> Isn't that, that's so pure. And you just look at that. Look, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a hinge. There's a hinge chain. Yep. Yeah. Change the hinges. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A, a while ago it looks, but. This is really nice, really, really cool thing. That's that's a that's a first. <laughs> that's really a man riding chicken uh, violin case. Really nice, Greg. It is a rather unusual fish. Are always a good subject matter. Right. Um, it's kind of a, a, a zinc composition covering, but the neat part about this is it is signed. Manufactured uh, by uh, uh, Vocal Vocal and Company, Philadelphia. Vine Street, Philadelphia. Vine Street. Wow, that this is, is cool. very unusual. That is really uh, cool. That is that. I, I, I how I, I've never seen. i never seen that. It must have made more than one because yeah, it's it was, more yeah, it was a manufacturer. Right. I mean, it, but it's right. the only one I've ever had. <laughs> and, and it's actually what is what I've is heard the, the name for? I can't remember. What, what items they may have made? A German uh, German company, I think, local, I think. Um, but what's sure. it? What's it on? Um, is it on? Um, is, uh, tin? Well, it's a zinc composition. <laughs> zinc. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure. I think it almost was. appears like it could be covering wood or something. I'm not. It's in yeah. too good a condition. I can't tell for sure. Yeah, it's. It, but uh, the thing is, it's it's right as rain, and I love the way that they they uh, delineated the gills. The, 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 not the gills, but the gills are here. But the um, the actual yeah. um, scales, yeah. the scales they kind of uh, scratched them out, right? Somewhat worn, but they actually had paint over. Yeah, it was more paint over that. Yep. Then yeah, this is nicely painted here. Yeah, it looks like it has actually has gilding uh, traces of gilding underneath or something. I don't, I can't figure it out. But it's, it's right. I mean, it's just this this. Um, is that just a reflection? Actually, it's, yeah, it's the silver it's, showing, so it actually is, yeah, it's, it's not, uh... It's probably, t probably t tin, right? Well, it's a, yeah, it is a tin. Yeah. That, that is so cool, like this, this side. Certainly different. Yeah, and, and yeah, and original paint. Mm -hmm. well, nice got, condition. He's, he's got a great look to him. He's a, he's a happy, he's a kind of a happy fish, you know? Unfortunately, he got, he got caught. It Just wasn't half that happy. Need to have the stamp on it to have the identification yeah. on it. Yeah, a, a nice documented uh, fish weather vane, right? Broad one to make you make you laugh. <laughs> Definitely make Great me smile. Great piece of folk art. Wow. The only pig pool toy I've ever seen. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, That's amazing. Wonderful age. You know, it is period, which is probably early 20th century. Yep. Uh, great surface. <laughs> They, they used nails that they had laying around, which are probably 1870 or earlier, and they, right, just stuck them in there. A lot of make-do materials. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. Homemade critter. <laughs> Absolutely right as rain. Pigs are great. I mean, that's, that's just incredible. It, has, it makes you smile just looking at it. I think I, t I was talking with you on the phone, and you said, 
I'm looking at this pig I just got, and I just can't keep stop looking at <laughs> Three it. Three times in the conversation, I, it was real close to me. I'm looking over at this thing, and I'm laughing the whole time, and telling him, "Well, this has this has to be shown." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just makes you smile. Yeah, I, I, I mean, certainly the the form, the form of it. It's it, a homemade pictures. thing. It's so well done. It's just, it's well, yeah. it's major folk art. It's right. just, it's just <laughs> made, it becomes it's, made, it's, made it's major whimsical. folk art. <laughs> Look at them straight on here. And the little uh, fragile le leather ears that have remained all these years. Yeah, just nice shadow barely. marks and under the ears yep. too to help identify age. Yes, uh, yeah. Has glass eyes. I, I'm not positive those are the first. They could be. I, I wasn't sure of that, but uh -huh. everything else was, uh, was in wonderful condition. Yep. But they were on it when you got it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the, oh, the, and they've been in there for a while. Yeah. Well, there's, no, uh, there's no other witness marks from anything else, I don't think. Is yeah, it? there seems to be. A, it, it's I the right th expansion. I, they're probably okay. Yeah. Probably yeah. they. But anyway, it wouldn't that, matter. You're buying yeah. form and <laughs> rarity of. Uh, it, yeah, it's carved carved wood, right? Yeah. All the pieces. Yep. Yep. Carved and painted. These little ankles have remained and. Man, that is great. And now they would have tied the string around here, probably, right? Or, or the snout. <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably yeah, around, around here. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, oh, it's really just wonderful. And this is where, well, well, it shows his age lots of areas, but this area right here especially, and any place where there's a juncture, you can see the... the uh, a lot of expansion. Yes. A lot and of expansion. Flaking yeah, off proper of the, expansion. Yep, the flaking yeah, off of the paint. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing this. This is a <laughs> sweetie. Wow, look, let's see him from behind. Look at that. Pretty wonderful. <laughs> that tail. Jeez. Oh, that's so great. Look at and that. And another piece of folk art. <laughs> wow. Where did you find him? Crazy lion. Yeah, he's great. Actually, that I had about an auction. That should have yep. been an auction in Pennsylvania. He's, he's and it's number two. I know of another by the same hand. Um, ah, probably early 20th century, you know, 1900. So the other one you know, it's, wood. It, it's so distinctive that you'd, re you'd remember if you saw another from the it same hand. It was the hand. same hand, it was the yep. same pose, it was wow. the same folk art looking face. Yeah, crazy face. I mean, that face <laughs> look at that, just, just that part of the yeah. eyes, right? And the way the ears come against the stylized mane. I love this. Made out of a, a, a big log. Yeah, pine. Yeah, it's pine. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, like a white pine, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's really cool. Have you tried to buy the other one? Uh, do you know, I mean, did you? Did you I had seen it many years prior to getting this. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cause cause I, it caught my eye and I, I liked it. Yeah. Uh, I love the surface on top of here, the buildup of, of, of grunge and dirt. It just obviously speaks to its authenticity which which doesn't need anything to speak to its authenticity it just is but that's yep. one thing i just want to point out that i know you and i look for and we love surface uh, it surfaces everything surface. and this varnish is you see where it's flaked away in spots it's just the, the surface is, is is natural use and wear <laughs> yep that's it you yep, got it yep, yep. i don't know lee it's a good time to be patriotic <laughs> <laughs> well well you know <laughs> <laughs> any any time's a good time to be quote patriotic. I couldn't have but designed a better one myself. <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's what you call a flag stool. <laughs> All American, really nice. That's I've wonderful. never seen one. Actually, I love the Liberty cap, which I thought was an acorn at first, but it's probably a Liberty cap, right. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, on, t on the flag, and the nice crackle aura of the paint. Great surface. Great the size surface. Is spectacular. Just great. Great surface. Probably around 1920, teen, early 1900. 1900. At yeah. least. Yep. 1900, yep. yeah. Yeah. Supposed by when a patriotic spirit. <laughs> yes, yeah, my, exactly. That's, a, what a, That's my all time favorite whirly gig we've ever owned, Uncle Sam. Nice wow. large size. Love uh, it is lacking paddles, which are easily replaced, but I actually like it just the way it is. Yeah. You get the full silhouette. And you know, it's, Uncle Sam figure, it's so well done, uh, so whimsical. Uh, and, and absolutely, 100% uh, right. Yeah, this is probably original paint. The black's probably a second, right. old, old second paint. Right, right. Uh, but yep. this is probably, you know, all the original. Yep. It's not been overpainted or anything over the yeah. years. Even, even the black. You know, good surface, uh, natural wear.
even the black I think uh, I, I I think is uh, oh, mostly okay. They just they the toe broke off and they just blacken the the break. Cause this looks good. This paint looks good here, right here. Maybe yeah. they bl I think they just wanted to cover up the white the. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure. I, I, I left allowance for it would it's be good. minor. To, yep, at yep. least you have 95 percent, you know, original yeah. surface, which is pretty major. That's a really quite. Um, it's quite an amazing piece. This I mean, origin, it was found in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Was it? Yeah, that's the origin. Really, I love his Good hat. Good size. <laughs> I love his ears, his hair. It's kind of a best of kind. Yeah, really great. And I'm glad you left the paddles off because then you'd have replaced paddles. Right now, it's 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 100 percent what it was meant, what 100 percent original. Well, and I really enjoy the pro profile of the the subject matter yes. more without the paddles in a sense because yes. You know, it's, Yes, it shows the art of the. Uh, yes, because you know, the, the there's a, there's some subtle de there's a subtle details like the um, like the he's actually he he was into bell bottoms uh, way before bell bottoms <laughs> become fashionable, you know, and he has these great bootstraps, but but the the the, the pants flare, but going up that you see the shape of the legs and then high waisted pants, uh, even the details of the uh, waist his jacket right with the. Uh, uh, pretty proper. <laughs> pretty proper. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This surface is beautiful. This blue, untouched. Yeah. And the, and yeah. The, the gray hair, and, and it's stylized in such a beautiful way. Like the beard is just this, this gray. Isn't that gray? That this. He's gray. fabulous, Porsche shirt. Yeah. 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 He, 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 yeah. He's got. A, I think I'm related to kind him. Kind of a pokey eye. <laughs> look, see the nose there. Look at that. I've got the same nose. Well, 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 maybe he's in the family. I'm a, I think I'm related. I won't argue with you. I'm related to Uncle Sam. <laughs> Mine's bigger. But mine's even bigger. Thanks a lot, man. This is great. This is great. We, to take a guess, would you say he was made in Pennsylvania, New England? I, mean, I think he's from the area where he was found. Yeah. I think he's from Wilmington, Delaware. Right from yeah. Wilmington. It, it was a, and, an estate situation uh, where... It yeah, makes perfect where, sense that it'd be Delaware. These are probably um, uh, off of like a carnival wagon, right. um, makes sense. circus wagon type of uh, subject. Yes, that's right. Um, Looks like they're... Um, just wonderful folk art. They're um, wonderful folk art. Absolutely right. And here's the uh, the way they were. You can see where they were attached to the wagon here, mm -hmm. with the with the, the screw holes from that. You yeah, somebody really nice, made nice supports for them. So yeah, for display purposes. But you can D doing the put them on a wall, or maybe they're bookends. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say they, I, I, they, they're kind of like bookends. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, carved, painted wood. Really nice. I mean, um, this guy. This was wasn't his first time carving. You can tell that. You know, yeah. This guy's carved before and yeah. very adept at it, obviously. Skilled it, it, hand. Yeah, yeah. very. Yeah. Wonderful. Really yeah. nice. Probably, what, 1890 to yeah, 18... Yeah, late 19th, yeah. yeah. Yep, fabulous. Really, really nice. This one's actually, you know, in 1922, I think. And up until 1922. <laughs> I mean, they actually did it into the 30s. And you never even know that it was 1922 at first. You think it was like, you know, 1900, 1890. Late 19th, yeah. turn of the century. And absolutely fabulous. So all done with, uh, uh, they also call it poker wear, meaning it was done with a hot poker. Uh, and uh, they sold these kits. They advertised them in ladies, the Ladies Home Journal. And, and believe it or not, a lot of homes burned down because they had this kind of uh, fixture that, that, that with kerosene and everything that and, and a lot of people you know being sent this this explosive to their home would literally burn their homes down but let's see what this is read, read this for us <laughs> okay the book for notions to tools fine art and pleasure here and it looks like 18. Explain all that to me. <laughs> I know. What that mean, right? What's our notions, tools, fine art, and pleasure? He's covering a lot of interests I don't understand. It, and he wow. doesn't know when to quit. Wow. This is, this this is, is actually something I did in my spare time. Yeah, right? 19, uh, here's their 1922 again. Autumn leaves, These September 23, 19, do come out. 1922. Uh, dated. And 
This is it's this almost is, a lap desk idea, but yeah. it's not. It's a storage or a secret box. Okay, let's well, get out of here. It won't cooperate with me. Let's see. I, I, let's go like this. Okay. One okay. out. Look at that. Okay, so he didn't forget that side. He, he did the inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Look, bye. Look, you've got to flip it over. Bye. And then the other way, John W. Fox, 1922 here. This is all done, these roses, the vase of flowers, more flowers. Look at this. Uh, what's this say? That's his homestead. Uh, a country boy. The old log cabin <laughs> still remains happy scene of my childhood days by John W. Fox, 1922. Wow. Mulberry leaf. Isn't that great? I mean, all this in one box. How many times do you sign his name on this one? <laughs> Again. Wow. Yeah. I, I, yeah, here we have, yeah, there, that's a beautifully done leaf. Look at that. That looks like it's actually cut rather than even burnt. They probably used a chisel. Yeah, there's a lot of whittling, yeah. knife work, so carving. It, wow, really yeah. a, a cool thing. <laughs> and look at the American flag above the log cabin, the saw. So many details. Pretty artistic. artistic. <laughs> I mean, now, now we're on the internet at night, and before the internet, there was typography. <laughs> Keep us busy, right? And we're, uh, while we're on the subject matter of boxes, uh, we brought a oh, look at that. exceptional paint decorated example. That is, man. That's a Our spirit, right? Spirit? Oh, is that the name? Oh. Mark Grit. I think that's a name. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's how dumb I am. Okay. Look at that. Look at this paint. Really well, nice original paint. I think he's a Dutchman. It's not spelled very well. <laughs> yeah. G-R-I-T-T. What's this? Yeah. Letters? Letters. So Letter, a letters, letters box. box. Yeah. And this grain painted, that's nice grain painting to look like mahogany or rosewood. Yeah. Uh, like actually uh, laminated panels, right? It's supposed to look like veneered boards. Yeah. Boards. Yeah. And let's see, it's open up. No. Yes, it opens that up that way. Well, this is an earlier one, of course. Yeah. Look at the paper in there. 19th century. Yeah. Probably as early as, well, the second half 19th century, would you guess? Yeah, third quarter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that range. look at that. That's nice. Talk about nice paint, original paint. This is what you, what you want to see. You want to see it nice and dry like that, right? Uh, Perfect for a paint collection. <laughs> really fabulous. Look at that. Untouched. It's, it's Untouched really condition. cool. Untouched. What do you have? Okay, he's gonna he's, he's hiding it behind his you back. You buy this so, for yourself. Oh my gosh! Wow, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Never, never saw anything like it. I've just never seen that with the negative space being the stoneware and the, the blue being the... Well, there's not enough of blue. Yeah. <laughs> is it what? There's not enough of blue. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. There's so much blue. Oh, and that incredible? little that the little lip. It's almost like they got the idea from a, a Chinese piece that was imported that, that was in somebody's house, like a Kang, Kangxi era, 17th Maybe century. Maybe in form, yeah. yeah. You know, with the flared yeah. lip and the... It has a, a border motif. and I haven't figured out how they did this exactly. Can you explain that to so me, how they... How they did that? I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, good point. Because I mean, if it's a stamp, it has an outline. It, it, it's, yeah. It, it, it appears to be hand done, but how can you... How much time would it take to do that? Yeah, I know. Each piece by hand. Yeah. They might these have, are all different. These aren't... That's not a stamp. You're right. No, it's not a stamp. <laughs> they just... They must have done these designs, and then they, they filled in this area with the fishnet type motif. I haven't figured and that out yet. This little, this chip here, of course, has glaze on it, and so that was in the, the firing of the piece, so it's yep. not considered damage. Yep. It's part of the making of it. I think it's part of the beauty. It's wonderful condition. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful this, condition. When, when the salt, salt glaze hit, the salt hit the kiln, it was 2200 degrees, it vitrified and coated everything. So it would cover everything in the, everything, including the, the chips. It, it occurred in, in, in the greenware probably when it was when it was. It's such a remarkable to see such color, such bold it's, blue, such and, you know, like it's my most favorite gray and blue. Wow. You know, it's wow. as good as blue gets. And, and Greg, wow. you've had some, you have, and you've had some some of the best uh, stoneware. <laughs> that, that is true. I've been to your house till midnight looking at things crawling under tables, 
looking at shells full of great stone. What? <laughs> we both love it. We both love it. Yeah, yeah, dear to my heart, that's for sure. Oh, a little nice. more folk art. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the great thing is you can't tell what this is made of. That could be stone. That could be, you know, could be porcelain that's been fired. But it's actually wood. It's not that heavy. And, and what a beautiful. Simplicity is wonderful. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Surface. Great surface. Tactile. Great surface. And look at the, the way that the, the, these are light colored and the, the dust is collected through the, through the years and embedded itself into the paint over over a hundred and some years. Um, I love the, the stylized. I love the same thing that you do about it. Yeah, there's, right. there, there, yeah it's, it's just a neat folk art thing. It's, it's, it's wonderful. simple but elegant. <laughs> yes, when I'm holding this nut, the nut, and I love the way that the, uh, yeah. the little paws are carved, yeah. that little engraved paws, and the, uh, I guess fur here is supposed to be, gosh, that's great. You know, one stoneware is one of your specialties, and this is really amazing. Figure of stoneware, you have, you've had more great things than anyone else, I think, in the field. And that is amazing. Oh, my gosh. That's our best one yet. That's, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for bringing this. This is, this is dear to my heart. My gosh. A, a figure of stoneware. It's so charming for a grotesque you know, piece of pottery. Uh, Wonderful. Sometimes they're just they're playing grotesque. And uh, it, it obviously, it's supposed to be a woman. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 I guess. I guess, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. No, it's, it's, it, <laughs> part, I, part is, and I'm not. I'm not. I haven't labeled it yet. I haven't named it yet. <laughs> I, wait a minute. A androgynous, really, right? It's an androgynous uh, person. But this, I thought this was kind of hair on the chest here. But the, uh, you know, and. Uh, um, these arms are wonderful. Look at these arms. Yeah, he little need, raised uh, relief. <laughs> he or she needs to work out a little more. <laughs> it's like we feel this is actually Remy. You uh, do. Yeah. So yeah, uh, absolutely, uh, Henry absolutely. Remy from Philadelphia. And, yeah. Who had a pottery yeah. in the early nineteenth and then in the nineteenth century, and especially uh, I think it was biggest in the eighteen twenties, thirties in that period. That about right? They, they start, but they go clear up to oh. <laughs> 1900. Oh, yeah. Now, and, this and would the, fall in the mid-century. Yes, I say know. 1850s, 40s, yeah, 50s. Yeah, 70s. yeah, it's hard to put a 20-year date on it, but... I, pardon me. I love the incised uh, hair coming down and straggling down here, and the cobalt blue on the top, and this is, would have had a little cork or something in it? In that case, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's a, really yeah. a, I yeah. thought it was going to be a bank at first, but it's uh, but Yeah, no, it's a bottle. It's a bottle. Yeah, it's a bottle form. Which is even more rare. Which I only know of two uh, stoneware, you know, cobalt blue bottles. Bottles, right. They're usually jugs. You right. see the Remy, you know, double face jugs. Right, right, right. Uh, that, with the I think we have six both. or seven of those over a 40-year period, but this is the only uh, bottle that we've had. This is, the details, Greg, I'm, I'm looking at, the, such as the eyelids, uh, are just wonderful. That they, they rolled clay and, 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 and made the lids, and, and <laughs> I love the dabs of uh, c color on the cheeks and the, and the beard. This is a really special piece. That's wonderful end of the day. Yeah, uh, special yeah, little this. presentation item, I suppose. Fabulous, and it looks like mint condition. It yeah. actually has stress. I'm, I'm not sure normally they're made in one piece, but mm -hmm. I do think this was made in two part. Because uh -huh. there was actually stress marks around here that kind uh -huh. of expanded you know, over the years. Oh, so uh, stress marks? From there, there is stress marks around the, you can Yeah, I can see, see that, yeah. but, but, but yeah. It, that's not from damage, right? Yeah. I think it's under the, uh, like in the making yeah, type that's of what thing. I was say. Yeah. yeah. That's now, the so stress marks showed, and I actually did have um, them, you know, covered up some. Okay. But I, in, the, in the sunlight, you can still see exactly what was there. But to me, uh, if, it's, if, it, it was, if it was done in the making, it's okay. It's part of its making. Yeah, right? correct. I yeah. mean, it's not a repair, yeah. it's yeah. not a damage. Yeah. It's not like somebody dropped in and broke the neck off right. and got glued back. It's yeah. during the salt, when the salt glaze. When the piece was fired, there was expansion and contraction, and th this was made as a separate piece and joined before going in the kiln. That's what happened. It was too right. hard, and it didn't join. He didn't have enough substance on it. He just it didn't join as well as right. it should have. Right. But wow, uh, that that to, that to me is not. Yeah. Again, so in the firing, in other words, you know, it already started having you know expansion. 
Yes, that's uh, fabulous. Another somewhat wow. over the top over the example. Top. Absolutely. Salt clay stoneware uh, ring battle or a harvest, harvest flask. Ring. Yeah, yeah. 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 several different terms. Yeah, that, that, this is fabulous. Look at the. Uh, and oftentimes, it just it's just very simple decoration that's, that's not incised. Or, or a little bit of incising, but look at this. It's a very early example. Yes. Uh, I love the motifs. I mean, that's just, ah, it's like sun this. faces. Sun faces. It's a very Incredible. early, you know, type of motif. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I would think you would have an idea. I would think this should be New York City, New York State. It makes perfect um, sense. Yeah. And then it's just lovely having the basket of flowers and, and the full. You know, read. So it's totally, totally incised. Totally. And, and total blue. Total blue, uh, yeah. It's pretty much unique, one of a kind in, a, in an early period. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and this, it looks like, is this, um, get my glasses on, is that um, Albany, Albany slip inside or just a color from the kiln? It's the more, fire? it's not Albany. It's, it's no. just the, uh, yep, I can yeah, see. I can, salt I, glaze, whatever. <laughs> it's the discoloration, the browning the of greenish the greenish haze you get, you know, yep. on insides of... Yep, I just I, now that I have my glasses on, I can see that. So it's not, if they were all bunched up, it'd be a dark brown, and instead this is just a browning from the kiln. So in this basket, this is all freehand and sliced and uh, into the greenware, and then it would be put into the kiln. And these harvest uh, jugs, ring, ring, uh, ring bottles, jugs, yeah. bottles, field bottles, bottles. <laughs> harvest bottles. Uh, you think about it, you're going into the field to work, and whether it be whiskey or water, often whiskey, I think, for a small one like this, but uh, <laughs> you'd want it in the field for when you had lunch or when you had breakfast, whichever time of the day you prefer to drink, I guess. But what, whatever, it's just fabulous. Yeah, that must be more of a presentation example. That yes. <laughs> it was just yeah. a whimsical gift. It really you know. does. I love the, uh, uh, again, the, yeah, the, the sun and the stars. And he's stylized stars, but that's mm -hmm. one thing that tells me it's early. I think it tells you. Um, you have all these stars, and they're different. You know, this, the, the, each one's kind of, these are kind of the same, but then all of a sudden he makes it one, one different one, and then another different one, and then. All hand done. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. hand done. Just, wow. Very early flask. Wow. It's another one of our. <laughs> Specialties. Fabulous. Yeah, you have some great slipware, and this is, I'm so glad you, you added this to the show, your booth. This is special. This is such a great It's bird. an exceptional example of the bird, yeah, bird it, decoration. We, often uh, they're, they're broken, and the condition's so wonderful. Well, I mean, it's a lot of slip, and it's so well balanced. Yes. Uh, uh. Now, this is probably a Pennsylvania example. Right. It may well be Bucks County. But it's all, it's in such condition. It's ah, remarkable condition. Look at that. Um, so I know you just put this on. Uh, you, I know you just got this. Yeah, this one we just got. So you just put, um, put this on in the last two days because you bought it like last week. I yeah. Think, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Um, so for the second time, we were the first ones to buy it at the Gordon sale. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> That's where it, it originally came that's from. That's when you first yeah. got it. I, and the second time we didn't didn't buy it, and now we had, now we have it. That was uh, the Gordon, the John Gordon John sale Gordon. was just after I left Christie's, and I remember going to it because yeah. the cover had the that pair of spotted dogs, the yeah. cards, <laughs> the <famous> and <laughs> yep, the famous yeah. dogs. Yeah. These and and in the sale, this this was piece was there. There was a lot of sale. fabulous redware in that sale. Oh, you bought a, a lot, lot of the covered jars. I, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I got home. We had uh, a farm, well, three farm tables filled <laughs> with great, great. Red and it was red. all, yeah, the, yeah. It was all two, three colors slip. Yep, for That's, most part. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And this is this is one of the best. Uh, it, it's one of the best bird plates. Yeah, for I've for a, a yellow, uh, one color slip. Yeah, it's one of the prettiest. Yep. Yeah, really nice. And we've had wow. a number, you know, different styles, and of course you have the. the the Connecticut, you know, I mean, you have Jersey uh, plates, but right. as far as Pennsylvania plates, right. this ranks at the top. At the top, fabulous, yeah. just a great yeah. plate. And the condition, the crimped edge is just, the, usually there's at least one chip or flake of the, the Yeah, just no, 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 no pitting. A, a real survivor. So what'd you bring us, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, is this an American combware? <laughs> Almost like that, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, you usually <laughs> Absolutely. see the 18th century English, in, English <coughs> combware. They call it combware because they pull a comb through the slip to, 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 to make it 
a, a pattern out of it. So I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the back and I can see it's in, 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 the, in the way that the, just the whole feeling, the color of the red, it's more kinetic, sorry, my fault. And so form to some degree, yeah. And what? And, and form to some degree, you know, a little more shallow than yep. the Pennsylvania yep. models. Yep. Yep. Um, remarkable One. condition. So, you know, the few of these out there do generally, you know, have a foliation because there's a lot of slip. Right. You know, it could be well taken care of, but temperature change will cause, you know, slip loss. Right. Um, this is just that's very full, very full for an American example. It's, it's, it's one of the top. <laughs> a wonderful Connecticut combware oval tray, slipware tray with with three colors, four yeah. colors, it's three colors of, of slip, and that's yeah. so rare. I mean, first of all, just to find an oval tray in this condition without chips. Mm -hmm. yeah. Greg, you, you've had more of them. The number's than small. <laughs> uh, and, but to find it with this kind of pattern that look, looks like an abstract painting when you look, look at it. In fact, this, this could, would go great with a, yeah. with a wall of Picasso uh, <laughs> ceramics, you know. Uh, it really would look great, but to find one from Connecticut. That's sort of fit with modernism. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is just, just wonderful. Wow. Thanks for bringing that. You kind of that. see almost that idea in mocha. It's, you know, the scrottled effect. It's rather unique. Mm. You know, New England, possibly Boston region. Right. But uh, we've never quite had the owner's portrait on the top. Wow. So it's, it's fabulous. See. With the young lady. With the puffy, the puffy sleeves, which is popular <laughs> of the in the period. <laughs> yeah, of the period. That's right. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's, yeah, that, that, that's really unique. Oh, talk, yeah. Well, the, 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 and untouched, obviously. Mm. Just, just so pure, you yeah. know? Great con mint condition. Yeah. Looks, looks like they used actual gilt uh, here rather than gold paint. I mean, it's yeah, totally you, you have a stencil with gilt, and then you have the uh, hand on hair. Right. Right. So it's a combination of the two. It's it's really brilliantly done. Well, because, yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh, look at that! See the wow. deal with the stencil. That's hand done. Yeah. So that's it's yeah, it's a mix. Mix great, of the two. Great detail on this, and the the front with with birds and these little uh, children here to the right and left. The close almost, ray effect to it. <laughs> uh, almost inspired by by yeah. Asian. Uh, yeah, it reminds of, you of the Japan things in Boston or the close ray thing. You know, yes. Yeah. Yes, like the. They're Shinoji. trying to be. It's countryish, but yet it's high style. It's trying art. to be high style, <laughs> yeah. which, is, which, is, which makes it so fun. Right? Yeah, because yeah, you almost have you know the the, the ball feet, yeah, which is a little bit more form more. Exactly, they're almost trying close to, to the city type yeah. of thing. Yep, they're trying to elevate it uh, quite literally up on the ball feet, and in several ways, we're adding the gilding, the portrait on the top, this little tree. I, and these birds are so well done. I think I mean they're really look the uh, the way the birds are done it, are so detailed. Aren't they? they look hand brushed. Yes, they do. Yeah, they really I mean, do. The flowers yeah. are. Yeah, the birds might be. Yeah, they look hand done. The, the, and on on your site, I know we'll have photographs showing the details that are inside of these birds, which are, are just amazing. The the, the the attention that went into these. But and, but the over the top. Yeah, that's that's. I don't get enough of that. that you can't get enough of that. You can't. The stylish that's, lady. Separates it from so, the rest. <laughs> yep. So she, she would have kept the, her valuables in there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. It, yep. it was certainly a lock bo box. Yep. You know, it has a lock on it, which the original lock. Really, this looks like it was really, really by a, 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 a decorator, a carpenter. A lot of these things end up being schoolgirl boxes, but right. this one doesn't quite have that gender to it. Right. Uh, well, the, but the it, personal, it, you know, touch yep. like that. You know, the rest, you yep. know, you can almost call it a schoolgirl box, right, but, right. you know. But I, probably New England, early 19th century, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. made of yeah. uh, certainly yeah, white. Yeah, I actually think I probably referred yeah. to Boston, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, I just said New England. Yeah, very nice. Really cool. Thanks, Greg. This is a, this is a nice box. Uh, it's kind of fun. There's folk art, there's folk art. That is, got everything in it. I don't know if you can see did, that, did uh, you read the it? detail in that. No, I haven't read it yet. Let's it's see. titled. It's titled, okay, Papa's Fruit. <laughs> By End of story. End of story, Papa's Fruit, right. Isn't that great? So it's just uh, oil on canvas, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. untouched. Yeah. And yeah. over here it's signed Cora uh, Parace, Paracy. I That's couldn't find any information, didn't research hard, but yep. I, I, I don't have a listed artist. 
actually it's just a the, real folk art. <laughs> it's actually signed back here by her very faintly as as well. Really, Cora Pe it Pe is, Pe yeah. yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, uh, I yep, forgot that. Yep, that's uh, P I R E S is the artist. But definitely has so much going on. Look at these baskets of what are they? Tomatoes, cherries, like everything. A it's the whole farm. The whole farm. <laughs> yeah. The whole farm packed it's, into one right. small picture. You know. Yep. That's really cool. There's stoneware butter this. crocs, and then there's stoneware butter crocs. <laughs> That's a stoneware butter crock. <laughs> That's a stoneware. Real presentation piece. Great stoneware butter crock. Fabulous decoration. Fabulous decoration. Front. Look, these incised double birds mrs a eddie so as you say presentation for her right yep hey eddie it's salt glaze stoneware with this cover that, that blows your mind i mean i've never <laughs> seen a cover play like that never never look at this that was the next question i was going to ask because it's the only one i've ever had <laughs> thank god it survived <laughs> oh that's that's Fabulous. That is that was well taken fabulous. care of because it would be so easy to break that. You have an inner lip here that you would be catching if you used it. Yep. You know, it's you know, yeah, a it's real sunken. It, it's here. absolutely wonderful. That's, you have these documents in here about... That was an know, early record of somebody owning it yep. a lot of years ago. Yes. Uh, I mean, this, this, this knob is this knob is amazing. <laughs> and, and the Albany slip inside, they used to take the slip from the banks of the Hudson River and the, the mud is clay and mix it up and slosh it around on the inside and what it did is kept uh, liquids from permeating the the piece so that actually it was a sealant and you see it on the inside of a lot of stoneware but especially new york state stoneware and you know uh, but also it went down to pennsylvania and, but this is just the fact that that would stay with it all this all these years it, well yeah it must be in, in any kind of condition. It, uh, it made a special... Probably Somerset Pottery Works mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. is the attribution. That makes sense. Maker. Yep. So Somerset Pottery Works, they were in activity in the, in the 19th century, the second half in the 19th century, you know. And, uh, and th this is just, this is just so special. <laughs> These stars, really. Yeah. The stars are impressed <laughs> in, in, into the piece, as is the, this this name, this is S.A. Eddie, but these are uh, freehand incised, the birds. And uh, just just a great thing. Look at that guy. You do with something oh, like that. You just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you smile. Yeah, fabulous. That. It is over the top. Look fabulous. At that. Fabulous. God, that is so great. Just look at that tongue. <laughs> That is, uh, is you like these critters. Yeah, <laughs> imagination, right? If you like these critters, look, they, I know you just put these yeah, tags on here for the show, uh, for the online uh, show, and rare folk car carving of a lizard. They yeah, we, right. we're uh, we're not sure of the uh, origin here. Mm -hmm. It was found and lived all its life in Alberta, which mm -hmm. is Lehigh County, mm -hmm. and at that point in time, I thought it was a Pennsylvania carving which would compete with the great alligator, crisis, et cetera, you know, three or four pieces out right. there. But the longer I own it, uh, the more I think this could actually be Northwest Coast mm -hmm. and maybe trinket. Um, well, oh, yes. Well, which, if that's the case, I mean, you know, it's probably, well, it's just as important as, as being a this Pennsylvania is, piece, this a folk art piece. Yeah, so it would be the uh, Tlingit tribe up in the Northwest Coast or yeah. north, of, north of California yeah. up in Near, north of Seattle, I'm near Seattle, right? Near I guess I should take a wood sample. I could really. You know. Actually, you actually should because it would be um, not, not well. They, they use it's, a, it's just a little lighter than pine. But, and yeah. That's what makes me, you know, think that and there's. It, 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 it's a conifer because I could see the striations uh, in the wood coming coming through from the, I think, underneath. You can see the, right here. the it, So it's a conifer, yeah, like a, like a, a wood that. Like that, yeah, the great. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Actually, that makes sense. But it is extremely well done. It's an accomplished hand. I mean, yes. again, you know, if you yeah. liked your little details yeah. and everything, yeah, it's... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, and it actually has that... When you look at this part, you can imagine it being Northwest Coast and Native American. So, I mean, we're looking at that just separately. I, it looks I think that's probably going to be the 
origin. Because <laughs> the, 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 the tongue is like some of the tongues on the totems, the great totems, that where they come way out, they're symbolic, and, and, uh, and not a Northwest Coast expert, but I've and always whistles. loved it. Yeah. That's great. Look How cute that. does it get? That, um, <laughs> that is amazing. What an owl. Miniature's a little <laughs> unheard of. <laughs> a miniature really gay. Of, of wisdom, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Wonderful folk face. art. Great, great surface. Amazing. Good age. <laughs> I didn't know owls have nose like, noses like that, I guess. <laughs> that's folk art. Yeah, that's folk art. <laughs> Absolutely original little copper, copper paddles. Yeah. yeah held on with copper wire. That's a little gem. <laughs> Look at the tail. This is a this great is a surface, mint condition. It's horrible. And it did see some outdoors with the oxidization. Right. I mean, it didn't see right. a lot right. of use. But it's uh, absolutely right. It's something you look at it, and at first you say, no, it couldn't be. And then you start looking at it, and it absolutely is. <laughs> it must right. have been made as a whimsy for a child, or maybe it's a salesman sample. Who knows? But I haven't yeah. seen many Al Verley gigs. <laughs> but with, and with metal, uh, I, Greg and I always look at the metal and old oxidized copper like this. We look at the edges to make sure it's oxidized the same way, because people will take old copper and cut it, and an, an oxidized piece of copper, cut it to, to form and stick it in there just to fake, fake the paddles that are missing. But these paddles are completely oxidized in the right places on the edge. You know they've always been in there and they're original to the piece. Everything's original on this piece. And um, even the inside of the tail is spotted. So I guess that's what they call a spotted owl. <laughs> you know, I've always heard of one, but I never saw one in, in person. No, yeah, that that one in person. seems to be what they're yeah, trying to yeah. get across. Yeah, that's really great. It's that's wonderful. really special. Yeah. Does it get any better than that for that period? It doesn't get any better than this for, <laughs> for painted blanket chest. It has, the, it has everything, you know? It's just like it's got everything going. It's an exceptional, exceptional, exceptional mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Uh, paint decorated blanket chest. Wow, it's unbelievable, really. Uh, just, Phenomenal I, graphics, I, untouched, incredible condition. It kind of belongs in decades of design, I believe. It, it does. <laughs> it, it belongs in a, in, in a museum of uh, painted furniture or a fine collection. This this tree on top with tulips coming out of it. Well, I should say, I thought it was a tree at first. You look again, and it's a, it's actually a vase. It's a pot with handles with tulips and other flowers coming out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you didn't see the handles, you'd think it was a tree. It, it's just so impressive, these big Exceptional tulips. Exceptional graphics, ah, so well balanced. It's, and then, and then the, the edge here with, with the decoration, giving it this vibrancy along the, around the, 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 the molding here. And even the feet are painted beautifully, aren't they? I mean, this oh, yeah. is to, yeah. to imitate, it, in this case, kind of exotic wood, yeah. but n not really. They're not trying to imitate anything here. They're just trying to have a bright, happy decoration for a home. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, man, this thing is so well preserved, though. I mean, right? You, it's vibrant. You've had a lot of mint blanket, condition. You've had a lot of blanket chests, uh, Greg. And how many do you have you had with it, with a top in this in this condition like this? And well, we've never seen this pattern. This no, is kind of right. a new discovery. Uh, it's probably a York County, Pennsylvania chest. Yeah, okay. the, the York County foot. Yep. Uh, it was found across the border in Maryland, but it, it, it's a York County blanket chest. You want to uh, see the, uh, the end of it? Yeah. Want to take a look at the end of it? Let's see. Wow. That is, is that, that is, showing? Yes, yeah. It, so a, a vase of flowers, really, really nice. And... Actually, the one on this end is even, even more vibrant. I mean, they're both great, but this one is, is really uh, an explosion here of, of, of flowers coming out. So it's decorated everywhere but the back and the underside. <laughs> Everything's covered. Just a and fantastic balance. Really a wonderful chest, I tell you. Thanks for bringing this. So yeah, that's the best of its time frame it, for a Pennsylvania German chest. It's the best. That's fabulous. One wonderful flow. Greg, this is a great bird. Pretty imposing eagle. Yes. <laughs> uh, rather unique. A different hand. Yep. Uh, definitely American. 
late 19th century. Right. Uh, we don't know maker for this. Uh, wonderful, pleasant, kind, <laughs> friendly yes. face. Yes, <laughs> big bold shield. You know, good Sh color. Yep. Shield's colorful. really great. The paint is wonderful. Yeah, it's a great surface. You know, it's, a, it's still an in the period paint. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's the best way to go. This yeah. might be first paint. I'm, I, I just can't figure it out. Yeah. That's the only place where I had trouble. Yeah. I, I really argued about that. I see silver uh, under there, silver paint. And, yeah, and that's why I thought this could be an old second paint. Okay. You know, but again, this red's entirely throughout, and that red's more of a red base coat. It's not really a red paint that would, it would have started life being. Right. It's like know? they did the red first, and then they did the white and the blue on top of yeah. it, and that was just an yeah. easier way to do it, maybe. Because I don't see the, the th it, it's so thin, it just doesn't feel like it was repainted right. for the sake of repainting it. Yeah. And um, and the and the gilding out here is the gold paint is is absolutely. No, it's well cool. oxidized. It's, yeah. yeah, it's changed colors. I mean, right. it's extremely early if it's and, not first. And, and nice color uh, on top of the head, which always gives gives away the age. Right, the darker color here with dust to settle into the varnish mm -hmm. coat. Yeah. And yeah. the back of it is really nice. Uh, if you want <coughs> to turn it around, let's there see. You do, the, do the dance here. I, I got it. Yeah. Let's see. Look at that. That's just the way I like to see it. It's, uh, uh, was it uh, fabulous? Looks like, uh, I was going to say, I don't have my glasses on here. I was going to say poplar, but is it white pine or poplar? Let's see. Is poplar? I think it's poplar. It's kind of green here. Yeah, this. I think this is pop, poplar. Well, maybe it's pine. Let's yeah, see. it's light. It's a little soft. I, I yeah. think it's pine. Yeah, yeah that I think that's pine. Pine, that's white pine. pine, white pine, white pine. And yeah. very nice uh, the way that the the iron nail has, 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 has uh, bled into the wood, the dark areas. Uh, and there's early screws. Uh, the, the, I see the nails here, the screws here. Yeah, uh, really. Yeah, here's have, the cut nails even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I do think this is like, you know, it, it could be as early as 1880. So. Yeah, for yeah. sure. No, it's definitely 19th century. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. I mean, this is a just a wonderful presentation piece. And how would it look on the wall? You want to try that, Greg? We can pick it up and get this out of the it way. It's a statement. It's quite a statement. Look at this. Wow, that, man, it could be above a doorway, it could be in a den, look at that. Let's come down a little bit, we'll just see, yeah, let's get it in the camera's view. That's uh, great, wow, that's, that's quite a wing spread. It's a nice size eagle. <laughs> it's like, uh, if somebody says to you, I got an eagle this big, it's like a fish story. I got an eagle this big, I got a, you know, I caught one that big. Really nice. Here we, we we're teeter totter and like thinking we're each higher than the other. Well, the higher it goes, the more collections can go, and the more room there is. That's true. You can always squeeze an eagle in because you can put it up in the way air up high. It looks, <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, up it looks there. better the higher up. Well, well a lot of them are over mantel doorway, you know, right? Garnitures. Exactly. Yeah. That could be yeah. anywhere. Uh, it could be. Well, that would have been a very, very wealthy house, but that could have been at a courthouse. Yeah. Or yeah. It could be all the ship. You know, it's, it's, it's a fabulous. rather special eagle. Uh, well, Greg, it's so great that you brought this and you brought it to me. Just it's fun. On my <laughs> show and, it's fun. And thanks for putting it on Ruby Lane.